Hello, my name is David Grenache. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Pathology at the University of Utah and a medical director of clinical chemistry at ARUP Laboratories. My research interests are largely focused on the clinical laboratory tests that are used to manage the pregnant patient. Imagine this scenario. A young woman comes to an emergency department with classic symptoms of an ectopic pregnancy, abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting, and slight vaginal bleeding. A transvaginal ultrasound is non-diagnostic and a serum HCG test result is 3,000 IUs per liter. That HCG result exceeds the upper limit of the HCG discriminatory zone, which is defined as the HCG concentration above which the sensitivity of transvaginal ultrasound for detecting an intrauterine pregnancy is nearly 100%. The American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists currently defines the HCG discriminatory zone as an HCG concentration within the range of 1,500 to 2,000 IUs per liter, although the range reported in the literature is slightly wider. The management of this patient would be easier if HCG assays were harmonized, meaning that regardless of the HCG measurement procedure, the results would be equivalent. In other words, a sample tested for HCG on one manufacturer's immunoassay is not necessarily equivalent to the result obtained from another manufacturer's reagent platform. Lack of assay harmonization is not uncommon for many clinical laboratory tests, yet many clinicians are unaware of this limitation. Many practice guidelines recommend clinical decision-making based on test results from a specific laboratory measurement procedure without regard to assay harmonization. The obvious risk of this oversight is that erroneous decisions might be made regarding a specific patient's care. In light of this, my colleagues and I chose to investigate what impact this lack of HCG assay harmonization might have on the HCG discriminatory zone. Our findings confirmed that there is a lack of harmonization between seven commonly used HCG assays. However, when we calculated what the expected HCG discriminatory zone should be for the different assays, all of them, with one exception, would have been within 9% of the frequently cited cutoffs of 1,500 to 3,500 IUs per liter. A single exception was an HCG assay for which a discriminatory zone of 2,000 to 4,900 IUs per liter would have been estimated to be equivalent. We concluded that Despite significant differences in HCG concentrations across HCG immunoassays, an HCG result within a discriminatory zone of 1,500 to 3,500 IUs per liter can be used without regard to a specific assay for all but one commonly used HCG reagent platform. 